Come on, Capone. But before I do that, come on. I'm gonna take him outside, check the mail. So I'm gonna head off and do some back training today. He's gonna follow me along here. Uh, over at the east side again, once again. So this is episode two of the of the transformation series that we're gonna work on for YouTube. So I've been on pretty much a solid, because I haven't been tra traveling, I've been on a solid diet for the past week and I do travel this weekend to Placerville, California. So it's only a day trip and then we head off to the Arnold next week. So I'll keep you guys posted. We'll talk a little bit on the car way, on the way there and now uh, let's get at it. What do you think Capone? All right, so I'm heading to the east side and the traffic's been a little heavy today. I never know when to account for certain traffic because I'm on the other side and you know, Vegas is getting a lot more crowded now with people moving here. For real, when I met with my banker last week, I was looking at some investment property and he was telling me how now we get real people moving to Las Vegas where when I moved here 18 years ago, I came here as an investor and a lot of the people were just coming to invest in property, but now we actually have a lot of people that are coming here for real to live here. So it's been, uh, it's getting a little more crowded for people uh, driving and traffic and everything else. So a lot, a lot of uh, real estate opportunities in Vegas and it seems like it's a, it's a good place for people to live. But we're gonna knock out some back training today and uh, time to get that work done. So I'm going to meet J-Mac here, and then uh, we'll show you guys my back day transformation. So, week two, week two of my transformation. So, I just finished up some back training here. Um, I mentioned that you know I've been coming over here to train. Um, little little crowded today for what I actually like, but what I wanted to do is is showcase a few of the movements. And as you saw, there's a lot of volume, so I'm going to kind of go through the exercises. Um, started with the high hammer row, one of my favorite movements. I actually bought this high row hammer machine when I built my home gym back in 96 at home gym in Massachusetts and I remember buying this machine and thinking okay this is really going to help out with my lats, it builds the width, the thickness, I do two arms at a time. I did two warm up sets there, I did three working sets of 12 repetitions, always my goal to shoot for 12. So started with that movement, then I walked over next door to the hammer pull down, which is kind of like a front pull down, uh, but with a machine, I feel this, this uh, hits a little more of the lats. This is definitely a width movement. The naughtiness, the, the rhomboids and the rear double bicep, this is one of those movements that's really great for that. I did three working sets, went to straight sets there of 12 repetitions. And mainly, normally I don't go from hammer machine to hammer machine, but I did it this time because 
it was just so crowded around the, the cable pull down area. So I finished that and then uh, I walked over to do uh, my bent, uh, the actually the seated cable row. Um, with this movement, I did a close grip, okay? So I vary between different grips with this. So this grip was more like um, the closer grip where sometimes I do a wider grip. I might use a, a wide bar. And I did three straight sets there um, of 12 repetitions. One of my favorite movements, uh, usually sometimes in my routine, it's a finisher movement, but we did this third in the routine. And then I walked over and I did bent barbell rows, reverse grip. If you notice with those, I always do reverse grip um, with my barbell rows now, just to really engage the lower lats. Now you people with a little bicep, I was talking to a, guy, a gentleman in the gym that was a little older and he says, man, I do those bent rows because he's seen it on my channel before and the reverse grip hurts his bicep. And I think that, you know, anytime you have, you know, bicep problems that go into your shoulder, you gotta be careful doing the back movements, especially the reverse grip. So uh, I did three sets there, straight sets, uh, went up to 185, I pyramided up after the first set, uh, really just trying to engage the lats and that seemed to work really well for me. Um, then I walked over to the uh, dumbbell row. If you notice, you know, I did these off at the end of the bench. I didn't go off the rack just because it was a little more crowded today. leaned onto the rack and I did one, one arm at a time. Only 85 pounds here, really just trying to squeeze 10, 12 reps aside. Uh, did three working sets there. Uh, then I worked over to the, uh, the hammer row and I continued to do a one arm row, a little more upright uh, with that movement. I did three working sets there. I pyramided up after the first set. just trying to engage the lats one arm at a time. But what you notice with this is I actually hold, I hold both handles at the same time, even though I'm rowing with one single, uh, with one single arm. So I roll back and forth. So I do 10 or 12 reps and then I go with the other side. And then of course I, I release and then I rest for the set. My rest times are only 45 to 60 seconds between each set. So basically if I was training with a partner or if I had to change weights, that would allow me enough time to kind of catch my breath. And as you know, I'm not training crazy, crazy at this point. Um, and then I just wanted to finish it off. So I actually did something different, which I did a reverse to the machine pull down and I used the handles. If you notice, I used the two handles uh, with, it gives me a little more contraction, a little more pull uh, with without the restraint of having a single bar. And, and as you know, I did the seated rows with the fixed bar with these handles, it allows me to squeeze a little more I did three working sets here, really trying to squeeze. Didn't lock my legs under the pad so I can gauge more of the lats. That's the idea of this movement. You don't have to go crazy heavy. It was more of a finishing movement. Felt really, really good today. I got a really good pump. I felt strong. Besides the crowded gym, I, I thought it was a very, very solid workout. Um, I get, did get up and do my cardio this first thing. I did eat a meal, and then I got ready to come out to train. So now I'm he heading for meal two, and uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the content uh, with the channel. Trying to put more Jay videos on, and of course, uh, appreciate Jay Mac coming out and always meeting me. And uh, guys, we always want your comments below. If you aren't subscribed to the channel, make sure you subscribe below, and uh, always my appreciation for following along killed on your next back workout day. We'll see you next time.